Welcome back to Metropole Sports Center. My name is Nashon Owano. Well, in this second part of the show, we are going to be talking about sports management. And, and joining me in studio today to talk about sports management is uh, Siombua Kibue uh, from... Uh, Dominus Sports Network Africa. Yes. So, Siombua, could you briefly tell us what, what your organization is about and what you guys are basically involved in? Um, Dominus Sports Network is mostly involved in football. Mm -hmm. We started with football in general. Our main focus is developing skills, training children, training coaches. It's all. It's an all round. Uh, it's an all, all round organization okay. because football is just not the eleven players on the field. Mm -hmm. It's everybody else. It's the linesmen. You know, it's the coaches, the, ref the, the referee, referees, yeah. yes. The fans. The fans, yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when we build it from a young age coming up, then you get a lifetime mm -hmm. of fans, yeah. Mm. Okay. So I've noticed that you are in your in your organization, you train people or kids from the age of 14. Four, four, four years. Four, four years, yes. Four years up to 13. Yes. Why that particular age gap? Uh, we start from four years because um, in Kenya we have this aspect of where to be a player, either start in high school or uh, once you finish high school. Yeah. So we decided that we want to start from the age of four years because mm -hmm. we know and we can see from the kids that we currently have, they have the passion from a very young age. Mm -hmm. And you can easily mold them once you start with them from the age of four. We use the TSM philosophy, mm -hmm. uh, that's the total soccer method philosophy yeah. of training children. Mm -hmm. So we start from the age of four, we work with them, we grow with them. Mm -hmm. We are able to see by the time they're six years, we can tell their strengths. Okay. We can tell, well, this one looks like, well, from where we are going, the next you, look like a, yeah, you look like a goalkeeper, okay. you look like a striker. We have actually some of our kids who are like, okay, they mostly want to either be coaches or linesmen or referees. Mm -hmm. So this is where now we get to develop their skills. So mm -hmm. as they grow up, and go to the next phases mm -hmm. they already have the skills and the knowledge just to keep moving okay yeah yeah uh, you had mentioned tsm will you TSM. kindly yeah uh, uh, <laughs> explain more about it what is tsm uh, for somebody who has not heard about total it? soccer method is started from netherlands mm -hmm. we have a coach by the name of mark who's the ceo mm -hmm. he this is a philosophy that was adapted for us in africa and for kenya we are the first to use this uh, philosophy mm -hmm. and we'll be using it around Africa as a whole. Mm -hmm. It's a training philosophy or uh, that also mainly focuses on children as you grow the way up but at the same time it has coaches training mm -hmm. it has different yes so okay. for like last year December we had a specialized coaches training that mm -hmm. was one week okay so yeah that's where <laughs> okay so um how how has been the support from the relevant stakeholders um because you know if you if you're talking about sports it's hard not to mention the government mm. how has <laughs> there been support from the relevant stakeholders in the sports inside? it's it's been good it's been slow it's been good yes <coughs> uh, during our coaches training mm -hmm. fkf was kind enough to send about four of their coaches okay. to our training okay. and they loved it mm -hmm. and we got feedback from it mm -hmm. um earlier in the year we wanted to host avam grant mm -hmm. and fkf was very supportive in, in that front as well uh we weren't able to fully finish on that function mm -hmm. but we will be able to host it again next year okay. so hopefully yeah the government has been good. Okay. We can't complain. <laughs> okay. Yes. So um, our, our, our structure generally, our sports structure in mm -hmm. Kenya is not as well developed no. as, <laughs> as, as you could uh, compare with other places yes. in the world. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure there are challenges that you're facing in terms of training uh, children who come from such mm -hmm. uh, disadvantaged uh, backgrounds. So how do you as Domina Sports uh, work around that particular issue? Uh, one of the things as uh, for those who know us, we train at Hospital Hill Primary School. Mm -hmm. One, that's a government school. Okay. And a lot of the players are from Hospital Hill Primary School. Mm -hmm. We do have parents who are not in a position to fully pay, despite that we, I think we're on the lowest on the spectrum because we don't charge um, uh, what we call the monthly fee. Mm -hmm. we, we charge a subscription fee, okay. which is 3000 a month. Mm -hmm. And we still have parents who have difficulty in this and we understand that because we see that their children have the passion they can play 
and they're good players. Mm -hmm. So we still work with them. Okay. And we come back to where we have our accounts office that sit down and work out a payment plan mm -hmm. so that you're able to not, for your children not to be able to miss our trainings. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, so probably as we finished, uh, mm -hmm. how important is talent management uh, in uh, skill development of young people as you as you're talking about it's hand in hand okay uh, it's you cannot like you can't have one without the other mm -hmm. uh what what we fully focus on is integrity is is in strength is in being open we start at four so that while we are working towards uh building even your social profiles mm -hmm. anyone who wants to see you starts can see that you started football at the age of four years mm -hmm. your social profiles actually show your progress mm -hmm. you know we have this thing of changing our ages yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's really it's really common in, yes. in sports in yeah. sports yeah. and it's wrong yeah because when we come to the scouts mm -hmm. and the scouts start doing their research mm -hmm. they're like uh your player is not actually 16. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've had you've had situations of uh players who sorry to say this, sometimes look older than the ages that they've, they've Yes, we do. Given. We yeah. actually experience that a lot. Um, because, okay, one, we have those ones who grow faster. Okay. But their ages are still on the low. And mm -hmm. two, of course, especially when we are going, for us, because we do a lot of international games. Mm -hmm. We have Uganda that's coming up in December. We have South Africa that's coming in in March. Mm -hmm. You know, we cannot play around with the, with the ages. Yeah. So birth certificates are those things that you always have to note. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we always have is a, a sheet for all the kids mm -hmm. that we always like a date of birth. What, what, what. So when we're representing to the other teams when we want to host, mm -hmm or they want to host us, okay. they have all the information they need, yes. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, probably in conclusion, there's somebody who's watching who will be interested in uh, being part of uh, Domina Sports. Uh, uh -huh. What do they do? Uh, one, we, you go online. Mm -hmm. That's dominosports.org. We have the section of the football school. Mm -hmm. Under the football school, there's the register my child. Mm -hmm. So that's where registration starts. Okay. From there, we are able to respond and give you tryouts. Okay. Trials for us are a must mm -hmm. because we have to see, we have so many children mm -hmm. and we cannot accommodate all of them. Okay. Any, so. any, any, sorry to cut you short, any particular skill sets or things that you'll be looking out for when they come for the trials? Um, actually, bas uh, basically, we're looking at uh, professionalism in the game, mm -hmm. knowledge of the game. <coughs> We are looking at the all-round person, the personality, mm -hmm. well, their time on the field. So you get at least two or three days of tryouts, mm -hmm. of where coaches are able to look at some of these skills. Okay. Yeah, you know, anger management, mm -hmm. being able to listen to to mm. coaches anger management is really key because <laughs> if, if you if you if you watch a lot of sports games you've, you've seen anger is a lot <laughs> yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of anger yes involved and in you know uh, when even even in the field we do experience it yeah even with the with our young teammates mm. and one of the things we do is like we put your side have a chat mm. then have you do five laps around the field okay, as a then shake shoot. hands yes oh, okay. then shake hands because okay. <laughs> okay. we're still we're still a team okay. and we are building you towards a team Mm -hmm. And football is a team sport, mm -hmm. so you cannot be having uh, wrangles in between. Yeah, <laughs> <and fightings everywhere. laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for coming to studio. Uh, we'll thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah, we'll be interested probably in coming for your next uh, training session and Very see good. how you guys do the trainings to the young children. Well, uh, that's all the time we had for for today on the Metropole Sports Center. I do wish you a fabulous weekend. Have a good night.